Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. Welcome to DepEd TV. My name is Sir Pao, your Tega teacher in technology and livelihood education. Today, join me as we develop your life skills in Information and Communications Technology or ICT. To those watching via Facebook Live, do not forget to post a picture of yourself while watching and use hashtag I love TLE. Make sure that your post is public. Be ready, get your pen, paper and self-learning module and let's begin our ICT journey. Oh, hey Karen, why do you seem so bothered? Teacher, my mom's birthday is fast approaching, but still I can't decide on what kind of gift to give her. Hmm. Do you know, Karen, that we can answer your problem by using a flowchart? A flowchart? What is that, Teacher Pao? A flowchart is a graphical representation of steps. It shows steps in sequential order. How can a flowchart help me with my problem? In real life, you can apply it as follows. Step 1. You want to give a gift to your mom for her birthday but you can decide on what gift to give her. Step two, go to the gift shop. Step three, inside the gift shop, you will choose a gift. Do you think, is this your mommy's favorite thing? Step four, in this part, you have to decide. You just have to follow yes or no. Step five, if no, choose another gift. If yes, you have to buy it. Wow! I never thought a flowchart could be that useful. Can I apply it to my love life as well? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Maybe. Teacher Pao, what is the importance of a flowchart? A flowchart is commonly used by systems analysts to visualize the series of processes in a business system. A flowchart consists of elements such as the terminator, process, subprocess, decision, arrow lines, and connectors. The terminator is represented by an oval. It appears at the start and at the end of a flowchart. The end terminator appears only once in a single flowchart. The process is represented by a rectangle or a box. It represents an individual step or activity in the process. The sub-process. It is represented by a rectangle with double lines on its side. A sub-process is a major process that could be broken up into simpler processes and developed into another flowchart. The decision. A diamond represents a decision, a process that can be answered with a decision of yes or no requires a decision box. The connector is a circle that indicates that a particular step is connected to another page or part of the flowchart. A letter placed in the circle clarifies the continuation. A flowchart Written on a single page is clearer than a flowchart on several pages. A connector ensures that the processes are connected logically and correctly on the several pages. Arrow lines are drawn in one direction, preferably from top to bottom. This keeps a flowchart clear. The process of a flowchart is similar to decision-making process. Decisions can help you foresee the future result of a particular task you want to do. Here is another example. Your dad told you to make your bed because it's time for your modular class. Wake up, Karen. Breakfast is ready. Get up and fix your bed. Your modular class is about to start. Hi. Okay, Dad. I'm coming. Please wait a second. Hmm. I'm still sleepy. 
Will I go back to sleep or attend my modular class? You can actually use flowchart in your daily life. Number one, it helps promote one understanding of a process. Flowchart can help you gain agreement about the sequence of steps. Flowcharts promote understanding in a way that written procedures cannot do. One good flowchart can replace pages of words. Number two, it is a tool for training because of how they visually lay out the sequence of the steps in a process. Flowcharts can be very helpful in training as the process can be performed according to the standardized procedures. And number three, it identifies problem areas and opportunities for process improvement. Once you break down the process steps and diagram them, problem areas become more visible. It is easy to spot opportunities for simplifying and refining your process by analyzing decision points, redundant steps, and rework loops. Why don't you take a seat into my class and learn how to make a flowchart? To better understand how a flowchart works, let us go over the basic flowchart symbols and its functions. I know you are very familiar with shapes. Let's play. Name that shape. I will draw different shapes. You are going to guess what shape I am drawing. If you are watching online, you can answer in the comment section of the IVC13 Facebook page. If you are watching via TV, you may use your pen, paper, and notebook. Are you ready? Let's begin. What shape is this? Did you say oval? Correct! It's an oval. Ovals indicate both the starting point and the ending point of the process steps. They are also called the terminal or the terminator. Now, try to guess this shape. box for rectangle? A box represents an individual step or activity in the process. Try to guess this one. Is your answer a diamond? Perfect! A diamond shows a decision point such as yes or no or go or no go. Each path emerging from the diamond must be labeled clearly with one of the possible answers. Let's have another shape. The answer is a circle. Circle indicates that a particular step is connected to another page or part of a flowchart. A letter is placed inside the circle clarifies the continuation. This is the last one. Try to guess the symbol. Did you say line? <laughs> Correct! <laughs> we read flowchart by following the lines with arrows from shape to shape. The flowchart may be drawn from top to bottom or left to right. Numbering is optional. This is an example of a simple flowchart structure. Once you have learned how to use the shapes, then it will be easier for you to create flowchart on your own. Once again, I am your game master, Sir Pao, and today we are going to play How Fast Can You Think? The TLE Edition Game Teacher Ellie, our teacher from the future, 
please explain the mechanics of this game. In this game, we have a cat, a rat, a corn, and a boat. You have to move the cat, rat, and the corn to the other side of the shore using the boat. The boat can only take one item. Multiple crosses are allowed. Be careful! When the boatman is not around, the cat will eat the rat or the rat will eat the corn. You only have three tries to finish the game. Thank you, Teacher Ellie. Solve the puzzle now. Oh no! You put the rat and the cat together. The cat will eat the rat. Don't worry, you still have two tries. Oh no! Now you put the rat and the corn together. The rat will eat the corn. This is your last chance. You have to solve the puzzle carefully. Okay? You let the rat cross the river first. The cat and the corn are now left on the other side. Of course, the cat won't eat the corn. The boatman goes back and takes the corn. The corn crosses the river, but the boatman has to take what? The rat back because the corn will be eaten by the rat if they are left together. The rat is unloaded on the other side. And the boatman takes the cat on the other side where the corn is. Wow! Brilliant! And last but not least, the boatman goes back to fetch the rat. Do you know that doing that activity required a series of decisions? Because of the decisions you made, you prevented the cat from eating the rat and the rat from eating the corn. Let's convert the following steps you made into a flowchart. The first step you did was to move the rat. Second, you move the corn across the river. But you must take the rat back to the other side. Then you took the cat to the other side where the corn is. And finally, you took the rat back to the other side again. See? Learning how to draw a flowchart is fun and easy. It can also develop your critical thinking skills. In our next episode, we will learn about terminating and connecting electrical wiring and electronic circuits. You can still watch the replay of this episode on YouTube. Just search for Depth at TV Official and have fun learning. Once again, I am your tech teacher, Sir Pao, saying quality education will be achieved when one is eager to learn and is innovative. In TLE, there is life. Together we grow as one. And this is Depth and TV. Hashtag. I love TLE.